like 11. <laughs> I'm having a fantasy right now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Tell me. What is it? I'm free. Mm -hmm. And we're together forever. That's what? not a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a fantasy. That's a good fantasy. But it's real. And I'm going to make that happen. Mm -hmm. You could start on one part of the fantasy, you mm -hmm. know? The together part. You know, when I was in prison, mm -hmm. my fantasies were all about us being together. But there was never really ice cream involved. Well, one, mm -hmm. but not a truck. Yeah. <laughs> well, lucky me. Because I've always had a thing for sprinkles. <laughs> This place is dead. It's still early. It's gonna be so weird without Lizzie breathing down our necks. No. What's weird is the fact that she's turning company back over to us while she's off in Europe. Six whole months without that little barking rodent. And Roxy won't be here either. That's very funny, Marina. Well, I think that we're all better off. What do you think, Roxy? How should I finish this letter? Best wishes? Your pal, Lizzie? Your friend? Hello, can you help me out here? <laughs> After everything I do for you. Oh, you know what? Okay. Alright, I'm finished. You can go clean up my table. I see that. Well, why aren't you doing it then? Lizzie, you just got up. What are you gonna do without me here to tell you how to do your job when I leave for Switzerland tonight? Tonight? You... Great. Why don't you just say hello to the cuckoo clocks for me? Okay, well, I will see you around Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Just don't change the menu, okay? Got it. Come on, Rox. Hello? Hi. It seems like forever since I've seen you. Well, that's what happens when you give each other the whole space thing. You don't see each other so much. Yeah, well, I kind of want to give some of my space back. Oh, you do, do you? I do. I was just thinking with all the stuff going on with Harley, you might need... Nope, I don't need anything, except maybe an extra set of arms. I mean, I'm at the restaurant and it's crazy busy here. There's too much to do except work. Yeah, I know the feeling. I have been working nonstop. I'm just busy, 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 busy. Well, I'll let you get back to it then. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Why did I just do that? So you're working, huh? Hey, Frank. What you doing? Well, I'm working, too. Listen, um, yeah. why don't you step into my office here and let's talk <laughs> about my daughter. Any bites on the bounty I put on Harley Cooper? Oh, I thought so. Well, I want her brought in. Let me know when you get close.
Yes. Look, I, I was going to talk to you about that, but today, absolutely not. No, this cannot happen. Not now. Them. Oh, honey, we'll check it out later. Okay. Mm. It's driving me crazy. No, 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 no. I can't. It's driving me nuts. Yes. I'm not deaf. We're closed, okay? Look, I still want my cowboy cruncher. What is that, a code? Where's the regular guy? I don't know. I fired him. What? Look, I'll get you your uh, cowboy, cowboy cruncher, and then you're going to just pedal off to the sunset, all right? Hey. you go. Hello. You got to pay me. We have a barter system, dude. Barter system? I guess one good scoop deserves another. I thought this is where everybody comes to get away from work. Yeah, well, uh, you know, when Harley and I were kids, every time she was mad at me, she'd steal my stuff. And then she'd come over here and she'd bury it. And then she'd take little stones and then she'd put it on top of the little burial sites of all my <laughs> stuff. And then <clears throat> she did that because once she wasn't mad at me anymore, she would try to find the little stones and get my stuff back. But there was a big problem. She never found her way back. She'll find her way back, Frank. Yeah, I know she will because I'm gonna find her. And I'm gonna put 100% of my focus into her. Hey, I understand. No, I don't think you do understand. I don't have the time or the patience or the energy to keep you away from my daughter. So I'm just gonna have to trust you with her. Unbelievable. I just talk to Danny and I turn into this. Keep it together, girl. Hey, taking a break? Yeah. Yeah, I am. So this is what Lizzie wrote. Hmm. Dear Henry. Wow. Very formal. Marina, just read it, okay? I wanted to put a few things down on paper, blah, 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 now that I'm going away. I wish things could have been different between us, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for backing me up most of the time. Man, she blah, didn't write blah, 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 blah. Relax, okay? You don't bug me so much now, but I'll definitely miss bugging you. <laughs> That's actually kind of sweet. What a bizarre way to sign it. It's not that bizarre. Uh, yes it is. Oh my god. You're actually going to miss her. Why don't you go out there and we, tell her? It's too late for that. You know, she's probably halfway on her way to Switzerland by now. Check your GPS, Romeo. She's still on the bench. And see, our flight lands in Zurich early enough that we have almost the whole day to sightsee and shop hmm. before we have to get on the train to Davos. Hmm? Sounds like fun. Honey, I know it's a long time to be away from home, and it's a long time to be away from this restaurant, but you are not going to regret this. I promise you. And I am so proud of you for the way you've opened up to this idea. Now, if we could just get your grandfather to open up to the idea. What? You told him? Yes, I told him a few minutes ago. Was he mad? Furious. I hate being around him when he's like that. I know, I do too. But honey, he's your grandfather. I couldn't just take you away without telling him anything. Give me these tickets, Ben. Ellen, calm down. You have to understand. Don't give me any more lectures, all right? You're not going anywhere. A am I making that clear? I'm not losing another one of my family members. What was that? It was just uh, another satisfied customer. Listen to me, honey. 
We can't stay here, okay? We gotta get going. Why? What happened? We gotta get to New York. We gotta find Phillips Road Killer, okay? So uh, the next stop is the Big Apple. Okay, but honey, it's a big city. Uh, where do we even start to find who or whatever start, it is we're looking for? We start. We use this as our compass. Okay, we find a hotel that's got a logo like this, and that's exactly what we do. It's something that looks like this. That's a pretty good it's step one. It's not a very good step one. This thing is ripped. We can't read this. We don't know where this came well, from. Well, then we have to start to where this ended up. You know what I'm saying? The Spalding Mansion? Yes, the Spalding Mansion. The surveillance cameras! The surveillance cameras. So Alan's got every camera monitoring that Spalding Mansion line. I mean, a, ma a mouse can't get in there and get a piece of cheese out. So what we gotta do? We gotta get the security DVDs or VHS or whatever it is. We ID the person, and now we got ourselves a square one. Well, it's better than square zero, I'll yes. tell you that. You're very smart for an ice cream dude. Uh, I'm just on a sugar high. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to the mansion. I'm gonna get the security DVDs, and I'll be back, okay? I got some other business that I... Well, up until a couple of minutes ago, I was the only business on your mind. Baby, you are the most important piece of business to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a very lame line. Can we go back to the original unanswered question? What happened at the window? Nothing. Nothing happened. Just, can you just please sit tight, have a little Italian ice, just take it easy, okay? Yeah, I'll be back, I promise. Wait, wait, wait a minute. We don't have a DVD player so we can watch the videos. Why don't I go back to Harley's Angel? No, 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 I'll, I'll take care of it, I'll take care of it. No, 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 it's not very far. I move like No, it's not a problem, I'll, I'll hang And the, uh, the fake IDs are in there. No, I got it under control. I've got it under control. It under control. It's it's not please don't do far. this, I'm asking you, please don't do this, okay? Where well, you start talking and nodding your head and like everything is in agreement and then you just go off and do exactly what you want to do anyway. Please. Honey, if there's ever a time where we should stick together and be a team, I'd say it's right now. Please. Honey, trust me, like I am trusting you. You're not this time. Not this time. Well... Well what? I can't believe I'm actually going to say this. But go. Go out there and stop Lizzie from leaving. I should go after her. Marina, I mean, why do you even care? You don't even like Lizzie. But you do. So walk out the door and tell her so. Coop, it could change everything. Just like that. We should all have it so easy. Hmm. Meaning what? Lizzie's family doesn't exactly love ours, and she's a bit of a nightmare herself. But at least there's no extra baggage. Like Danny. Look, I know you don't like to talk about okay, him. Okay, I, I want him, okay? And I know he wants me, too. I know it. It's just that he may still want Michelle and just not know it yet. Or maybe but, he does, he just doesn't want to admit it to me yet. Or to himself. Either way, you know, I can't get close to him until I'm absolutely sure that I know, that he knows, that there's no way I'm going to play back up to anyone. Even if I do have a mini meltdown when he calls me on the phone, because that's how much I want to be close to him. That's just the way it is. Okay? Yeah. Uh... You need to talk about that more. Stop being a dope and get your butt off the chair and move. The dog likes you. That's a step in the right direction. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Henry. Oh, gone. I'm gone. Oh, you're not taking James and Elizabeth to Switzerland. It is out of the question. I don't need your permission or your approval for that matter. We're going. I need you here, Beth. Alan, this isn't about you. This is about Lizzie and James and me. We need time away as a family. Well, I'm your family. You're my family. Elizabeth, your father would hate it if he knew that you were doing this to Don't. Me. Don't you pull that with her. Do you have any idea what you're doing to your granddaughter? Mom. The same thing that you did to your son. Don't say that, Beth. Don't say that. Alan, you need to get yourself under control. Granted, we're just going to Switzerland. So no, no, but not plan. now, not now. Alan, why? Is there something that you're not telling us? No, not at all. I mean, I, I, I don't keep any secrets from my family. You know that. Yeah, sure. You know. That is exactly why I told you about this, so it wouldn't be a secret. But make no mistake, we are going on this trip. In fact, I've already sent Hilda up to the attic to start packing. You what? All right. This is not over. We will discuss this later. I've got to go. 
He was acting weird. Yeah. Honey, don't worry. This is not going to interfere with our plans. I will talk to him before we leave, and everything will be fine. Now, I have to pick up James from a play date, and then I will meet you back at the house. But, honey, I don't want you to worry. We're going to have fun, and you are going to feel so much better. I promise. I love you. I love you, too. Well, did you hear that, Roxy? She says we're going to have fun. I don't know. I guess it'll be a good opportunity for you to meet some new friends better than these mutts around here. I'm sure in Europe there are tons of well-trained purebreds that are just waiting to fall in love with a special little girl like you. Mm-hmm. You're not telling me to stay away from Marina. Interesting. Thanks. It's nice that my daughter has someone that she can count on. Are you up for the task? Marina means a lot to me, Frank. Does she know that? Well, I plan to let her know as soon as she lets me within five feet of her again. What, you guys aren't talking right now? Well, not exactly. Marina thinks that we need space so that I can sort out everything that's happened with Michelle, and I agree. Well, I'm going along with it. But you don't agree? Um, I don't like it. But I am respecting Marina's needs. I appreciate what you said, Frank. I know that's not easy for you. Don't let me down, Danny. But more importantly, don't let Marina down. Thanks for the beer. The seat taken? Take Jude to the dentist. Return Zach's sneakers. Jude play date. Frank dinner macaroni and cheese. Seems like a million years ago. These are a mess. I'll fix it later. It's nice of you to say. It's nice to feel wanted. Yeah, well, I, I was worried you might have gone after Harley or uh, tried to make contact with Why, her. would that be a very dumb idea? Well, you throw your lot in with the uh, fugitives and you become wanted yourself. Wanted or hunted, right? Yeah. Depending if the price is right. Well, the point is, neither one of those apply to you because you're home safe where you belong. Yeah. Uh, why are you up here all alone? I like to come up here, you know, make sure nobody sees me cry. Works for you, doesn't it? Times, yeah. Right. Good. How are you feeling tonight? About life, everything, anything. Oh, I feel great, especially knowing you're here uh, safe, where you belong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about something else, shall we, Dad? Actually, uh, anonymous donor. Isn't that the name you're going by lately? Uh, I, I uh, don't know what you're talking about. No, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the proof is in this case right here. Oh. 
I've missed you. How much? This much? Mm, much more than that. <laughs> That's closer. I've missed you too. Marina, I know that we're officially taking it slow, but I have been absolutely dying to tell you how much you mean to me. Mm, go ahead. I'm on a long break. I wake up every morning hoping that this will be the day that you let me back into your life. That's what I want. I want it, too. Space Marina. Give him space. He doesn't know he needs it yet, but he does. So, you can talk to your dog, but me, I, uh... I get a note. Well, I would have written Moxie a note, too, but she left her reading glasses at home. Besides, I kind of find that as more of a letter, and a pretty good one, too. Sincerest regards from your employer, Lizzie. Well, sometimes that's all I feel like to you. It's your boss. But then, yeah, there are some times that I feel like your friend, and then some times I... Like what? I don't know, okay? Maybe I don't know what I am to you, okay? Besides obnoxious, you mean? If I send you a postcard from Switzerland, I'll just be sure to leave it unsigned. That'll solve our problem. Why don't you not write anything on it all? That way you can't go wrong. Fine! I just won't send anything, and that'll make both of us happy. You know what? That's the best idea you've had yet. Thank you. Excuse no, me. Wait. Lizzie, wait a minute. I... What? <sighs> hey, I... you are late again! Come on! I hate that kid. Coop, you were saying something, and he was about me. What's wrong? Your grandfather's trying to kill my sister. Is that wrong enough? All right, turn around. Slowly. Hello. The um, landlord said that nobody should be using this place, which means you shouldn't be here. I'm going to have to see some ID. Uh, uh, wait, but that's a... Uh, um... We can start with a business, business card. card. Miss Spaulding. All right, now show me something with a picture on it. Credit card, driver's license. Frankly, uh, I'm surprised you didn't recognize me right away. Yeah, that's why I need the ID. Come on. Everyone who's anyone in this town knows Alexandra Spaulding. Now, what's your excuse? Gus, why don't you and I just sit down and discuss this like a couple of adults, huh? Yeah, that would be nice. Problem is, you will never cop to being the anonymous donor, isn't that right? The person who put the bounty out on Harley's head? Oh, I think it's money well spent. Good investment. You cop to it. That's <laughs> refreshing. It's sick. But refreshing. Look, I don't owe you an explanation, all right? She was convicted of murdering my son, and now she is a fugitive from justice. But she didn't murder anybody. And you don't care about that anyway. You don't want her brought in. You want her killed. Isn't that right? Look, I'm not responsible if she chooses not to turn herself yes, in. Yes, but you signed her death warrant. Yes, like she signed your brother's. Well, there you have it. There it is, your little eye-for-an-eye eye logic that is behind every single thing that you do. You hate Harley Cooper. You hate how strong she is. You hate that she doesn't put up with your garbage. Isn't that right? And when Philip was killed, you just slid her into the role of killer. You know what that's called, Dad? That's called revenge, not justice. A jury of her peers convicted her. I don't he care! I don't no care! She is not, she is not the killer. You know what? 
You're more responsible for Philip's murder than she will ever be. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. So here's what's gonna happen, Dad. You're gonna call whoever it is you have to call, and you're gonna cancel your little reward deal. You're gonna withdraw your offer. And I don't care who or what excuses you have to make, uh, you're gonna shut down your little operation. Do you understand? I must have heard you wrong, Gus, because no one dictates to me. Is that right? Well, I'm telling you exactly what to do. You got it? That would be a terrible mistake. Thank you. All right, I'll be over in just a second. Take your orders. No, you won't. Stop. Turn. I'm sensing a sudden change in the routine. Mm. Something tells me your shift's over right now. I know I've been keeping you at arm's length, Danny. You have. But I missed you. I mean, I really, really missed you. I prayed every morning that I would wake up and that would be the day that you would break all my rules. Then you come in and whisk a tray of food out of my arms and kiss me. And that's just for starters. Then what happens? <sighs> Danny, look. I don't know what's going on with you and Michelle, but I don't care anymore. I want you. I want you. Hey, Annie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, wake up here, all right? Let's drop the whole try. Give me a hand. I don't believe this. It doesn't mention my granddad anywhere on here. Oh, come on. Just look at this. I mean, anonymous donor. Lizzie, this has got your grandfather written all over it. Why do you always have to think the worst of my family? Oh, well, let's take a look here. Okay, first, uh, recent history, personal experiences. My grandfather had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Man, you know what? You have been sucked so far down into that Spalding world, I didn't even think that was possible. What is that supposed to mean? It means that you can't wait to get on that plane to Switzerland to get away from everything, everyone here. It's not someone in my family I need to get rid of. You know what, Lizzie? I can't wait to not get that postcard that you're not going to send. Oh. I'm astounded that you didn't take one look at my face and say to yourself, my God, that's Alexandra Spalding. Yeah, I'm new in town. I've only just heard about the Spaldings. Now that we know who I am, who are you? I'm John Smith. How generic? Well, my mother calls me Jack. Jack, John, whichever you prefer. Stop pointing that gun at me, or I'll have to call my dear friend, Chief Frank Cooper. I'm assuming that a young security guard like yourself aspires to join the force? Uh, yeah. How, yes, how... well, you would not want to pre-tarnish that little record of yours, right? Thank you. That's lovely. If you'll excuse me. Now wait. I... One of the things I heard about the Spaldings is that they're rich. Crass, yes, but true. Then what's the Spalding doing swiping a DVD player from an abandoned office? I'm not swiping it. I'm reassigning it to a charitable organization. The detectives who closed this office have agreed to donate this and several other items to an annual fundraising auction for the Springfield PTA. I'm in charge of the event, naturally. So you see, it's all on the up and up. Yes, well, excuse me. Um, wait, I... Do you want some help with those? Is, is your car right outside? Oh, uh, no, actually, but my driver will be pulling uh, into the front any, any minute. Okay. But I uh, know that would be lovely. Smith, thank you. Thank you. We're not going to leave this room until you pick up the phone and you call Harley's bounty off. 
It's not going to happen. You see, the word is out, Gus. It's in the papers. The professionals are already searching. There's plenty of time to call it off. Yes, there's plenty of time for you to save yourself. But if you stay with Harley Cooper, she's going to be your death. Are you insane? She is taking you straight to hell. Open your eyes. You know, I may not be able to stop you, but I can stop Harley. I'll tell you something, old man. If anything don't happens... Don't war. Don't you What's going to happen? What? Are you going to send your professionals after me? You're so amazing. You know that? Yeah, you, you go on and on and on and pretend how precious each and every Spalding is to you. But you know, by the time you're done, the only people, the only folks you're going to have around you are paid staff. Oh, Everybody so hates you, oh, Dad. Man. Everybody hates you. That's why they're running away from you like rats from a sinking ship. Beth and Lizzie and James are taking uh, off to Europe. They don't want to be around minute, you. you know Alexandra doesn't even trust you. That's why she keeps you at an that office. That is not Olivia true. and Emma, they're gone. <laughs> and Philip, oh, I think he's definitely gone, don't you? And me, I am so far gone, it's not Will even you funny. you just stop this ratting? And you know what? You are like like a spoiled big daddy trying to ruin everybody's life. You know what they call that? Control freak. It's like a drug to you. What's going to happen when you don't have anybody around you to bully anymore? Hmm? Stop it. What? It's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. You're going to lose your empire. You're going to lose everybody and everything that ever meant anything to you. You are going to die a lonely old man. That's what's going to happen to you. And you know what's really sad? You think in your head that it's control. Control that keeps everybody around you, but it's love. I'll tell you something. I might have a million, a million faults, but at least I know what love is. And I'm not going to live my life without love. Do you understand? I don't think you're going to have the chance, Gus. Oh. Fo. Mike. You really are busy. Ow. I just worked out. It really is yeah. you. You must yeah, have wrapped up your was? work early. Yeah, I did. And I was just thinking about you. I was thinking about you, too. Yeah? Yeah. It's crazy busy here. I can't talk right now. Okay. <laughs> I'll call you later. I would like that. Is that, that. okay with you? Yeah. Good. I have to give this back to you now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can you run outside and see if Coop's out there? We're getting swamped in here. What's the matter? Didn't Danny stick around to help you? I know you don't like him. I do. Besides, he would have just dropped a bunch of plates anyway. Um, you don't know that. Who knows? Maybe he would have been a big help to you. I'll go get Coop. Thanks. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, man. Tell me you're reading the sports page. We got a restaurant full of people. Yeah. All right. What's the matter with you? Hey, what, is this about Lizzie? No, it's, uh... Hey, Coop, look, I know it's tough when you really care about somebody and you want things to work out for them, but sometimes you gotta let them go, okay? And you gotta hope that they come back and that they work things out, all right? What? Oh, my God. have a bounty without blood money. It's a little actually a little light. What'd you use, Big Bills? Don't do this. You know what? Maybe I will walk out the door. But I can promise you one thing. I'm not leaving without this case. No, that would be a mistake. Why? I don't really understand why. Because Spaldings and big, I don't know, briefcases full of cash, that, that goes together. It's like a natural. And I'm a Spalding, so <laughs> what's the problem? 
In fact, maybe I'll take this briefcase. Maybe I'll skim a little off the top. Because that's what we do as spawnings. We take and take and take till it's all gone, till it's empty. Kind of like your house is going to be when you're done with everybody. I'm curious. Let's see what we're dealing with. No, no, Gus. Oh, yes, yes, Gus. What's the matter, Dad? You don't want me to see what's in the case? Let's take a little look, shall we? No, Gus, for God's sake, no! 